Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you about some of my favorite beauty hacks and things that just make my life so much easier. And so these things I've learned over the past couple years, usually just from having a problem and searching for a solution that worked. So hopefully you don't already know all these, otherwise that'd be really awkward. But anyways, let's get started. My first beauty hack is helping you get your dried up mascara to work again, because I promise you there's probably a little bit of life left in that tube of mascara. So what you can do is just put two to three eye drops or even contact solution into your tube of mascara and then I just put the wand in and I kind of mixed up a bit. You can probably just stick it in and it works. So then once you do this, your mascara will no longer be dried up. Or if you live in a house and none of your family has contact solution, one thing you can also do is just basically melt your mascara by putting the tube in a cup of hot water for like five minutes. And if you don't want to hold it the whole time, what you can do is just put a pair of scissors on top and it works. So for beauty hack number two, this helps you with your rings when the paint is coming off of them. Because I know we don't always wear silver and gold, and when you're wearing one of the cheaper rings you own, sometimes the paint starts to come off. So what you can do is put on one of your strong clear top coats on, and just paint on that nail polish, let it dry overnight, and then the paint will be like less prone to chip off because you will have just reinforced it. This third beauty hack is such a life changer. Wow, okay. This trick is using shampoo as a stain remover. Shampoo! Everyone has shampoo, or at least I hope you do. If you don't, let me know and I'll buy you shampoo. But what you can do, if you have a tough stain that you can't get out with soap, what you can do is just take your shampoo, take it out of the shower, put some in your hand, rub it in, and just use it to get out the stain. It works so well. And I've, I personally do this, my friends have done it before, so if you have a stain that you can't get out before you try throwing it away or buying an expensive stain remover, see if your shampoo will fix it, because it might just do it. Beauty hack number four, I don't even know if I just call this a hack or something that everyone should do. At the end of your shower, just you should shower with cold water, rinse your hair in cold water for a minute, and this will make your hair look shinier, it'll make it softer. I've read this in magazines, I've seen it on blogs, it really does work. I did it last night and I really think my hair looks healthier than it usually does. And what you can do if you don't wanna like freeze your butt off, just stand so you're not underneath the cold water and just like put your hair under it and then you are good. So for this next beauty hack, for beauty hack number five, it has it's for all of us who have smellier feet and I have to admit there are times when some of my shoes just smell bad. And the way you can overcome this is by putting dryer sheets into your shoes. And so what I do is I buy a box of dryer sheets at the dollar store and what you can do is just slip them into your shoes and I promise you your shoes will be smelling a lot better because the sheets will absorb the smell. So for life hack number six, this is when you're having a little bit of a bad day and maybe you've been crying. Usually what happens is your eyes will swell up and be puffy and not the cutest. So if you're like me and you have this problem, what you can do is you can put two spoons in the freezer, make sure they're like metal spoons, and you put them in for five or 10 minutes. When you pull them out, they'll be like ice cold and you can put them below your eyes, on your eyes, and just hold them there like if you were applying ice to a wound basically. And what the, the cold will do is it'll reduce the swelling. So for beauty trick number seven, this is one that has been recently introduced to me and it's buying sunscreen that is like designed to help you get a tan. There are certain sunscreens on the market that have very, very low SPFs, like I think mine is like SPF 7 or 8 and it's designed so that you are still protected from the sun but it also kind of somehow attracts the sun more. I don't understand the science behind it. I probably don't want to know. But what you do is you just spray it on a few minutes before you go out and then you can be outside for an hour or two and you don't burn up but you actually kind of get some color. And obviously you cannot tell me right now at all because I've only been outside a few times this summer not enough to get a tan because I don't tan at all. And also I'm super washed out from the light, but I'm pretty sure if you did tan, I really, really can tell you this will speed up your tanning process and it'll protect you from the sun, slightly. And so for my final couple beauty hacks, these are almost less beauty hacks and more things I just wish people had told me younger. The first thing I would tell you is if you want to, I guess, look better, take care of yourself. Drink lots of water because it's good for your body and also make sure you're getting your beauty sleep because sleep is so, so important. And for this final thought, I really wish I'd been told this sooner. This was something I kind of found out for myself. It's don't just buy a makeup product just because one of your famous YouTube beauty gurus recommends it. Because one thing you have to take into account is you might have different skin types and different cosmetic lines geared towards different skin types sometimes, or sometimes they have different 
products towards different skin types. So like there are times when you might want to buy something because someone's telling you to, but it might be the wrong, but it might be wrong for your skin type or your complexion. So just keep that in mind. So guys, I hope these are things that you found helpful. I hope that a few of these at least were new to you. Anyways, if you like it around here, be sure to subscribe. I'm uploading weekly and since it's summer, maybe twice a week, who knows? But if you like this, remember to leave it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome to my channel. This week is my one year anniversary on YouTube. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Uh-huh. So happy. But so because it's my one year on YouTube, it got me thinking about everything that I both like learned and accomplished this year on YouTube.